Hey guys, my name is Cineag and welcome back to another City Skyline experiment where today we're going to be building a city on a canal. Now, the only way people can move around the city is via using the canal, meaning we have to place down a bunch of ferries and stuff like that. So it's going to be quite interesting. It's going to be kind of like some of the experiments we've done in the past where we only enter by like train or plane and stuff like that. Ooh, lovely little blue. It's like it's like the sea's going over the highway right now. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, we're going to do kind of stuff like that. So they're going to all enter via the highway and they, they kind of get off at a main road area will be the first ferry stop which then goes to all these different little pockets and areas around the town and city that is built upon the canals. It's going to be great. So if you guys enjoy this and want to see more fun experiments like this in the future, then make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new in here, make sure you subscribe. And you want to see, any, you know, if you've got any experiments you want to kind of suggest, leave them in the comment section down below too. So first things first then, we're going to go to where the kind of ferry system is. And I always forget where it is because it's in such a weird spot. Here it is. Water structures. Canals. Now we're going to go with the deep canal. Should we go with deep and wide? And how, how wide is wide first? So that's wide versus this, which is standard, mate. <laughs> that's what it is, isn't it? Okay. We're going to go with the wide ones just because they add more depth to the city so we'll start here then and we'll draw a line down like that and we'll use this as the base plate so what we want to do is create small little pockets or you can, it, they could be large pockets it doesn't really matter so what was that there i need to pay attention to what i'm doing so let me delete that do you know what the more luckily i don't know if we want to go for these wide ones now nah, we'll go with the wide ones why not it'll be fun it's all part of the fun right okay so if we go up by, let's say, 50, go across by 50, and that cuts in by 50. So that is a square. So we do a bunch of 50 by 50 squares. There we go. Bring it down. There we go, beautiful. A bunch of 50 by 50 squares like this, and each little area have its own like kind of infrastructure. There'll be no bridges going over any of these canals. You can only get to each area simply by getting on a boat. How cool is that going to be? It's going to be pretty dope, isn't it? So we need to get a bunch of these now in. So if we go across now, do 50 there. We'll do 50 across this way. Just kind of understanding how we want to get this all in. 50 there. Right, how expensive is this going to be as well? I need to kind of pay attention. You know what? It's not even that expensive. So we're okay at the moment for funds. We won't run out anytime soon. So that's 50 straight down. If I go number 50 now. There we go. We can bring this ultimately straight down. Easy, mate. Easy. Now, I don't think we should do this square pattern going through all of it. So, we can leave some bigger bits as well like that. That would be quite a cool big bit to throw down. We can put like a little, maybe like, I mean, if we're not going to make enough money, we can do like a little city park or something like that down there. I don't know. See how things go. But we'll go down by 100 on this one. There we go. And then 50 by 100 cut that in it's gonna be pretty great mate so what i'm gonna do now then is get the whole structure of this all set up and running before we allow any water in and for us to build any infrastructure on top of it this this is gonna be pretty cool if you ask me right i got a lot of work to do a lot of infrastructure to build a lot of people to see a lot of uh, dogs to feed and all that jazz. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but... Okay then, so we got all the canals in right now, and I didn't realise, but I've made actually quite a cool little pattern. It looks really good, doesn't it? I've had a real challenge in trying to get all the water pumps in, or pipes, should I say, because it's really hard to kind of bridge across. You can't. You've got to go in and then pop it back up. 
it's 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 been awkward guys let's just put it that way but the water structure is now all in we just gotta get everything else in but first we should actually get in or connect up this to right here we go to the water supply now do i just make it go straight in is that easy enough put it back into play mode now and hopefully that's all i need to do and all the water will flow in nicely we'll see We'll see. <laughs> it's a really deep canal system. It looks really, really cool. Okay. Right. I don't know if I need to place in the ferry stuff. Where is it? Where is the ferry stuff? Um, okay. Hang on. Let me see which one we can use. Ferry depot. We only really want a ferry stop. Okay. So I can place those in before I do. Uh, well, before I do. Before I get. Before any of the water comes in. Which is good. And actually help us out with zoning too. So we'll just drop one down now on the same side of... Because you can kind of think of these as mini islands. So we place one down on the same side of every island. Just to not confuse or kind of clog up how the boats are going to be running. We're going to have to create quite a few routes as well. Which should be fairly interesting. There we go. And then we'll drop... Okay, I can't drop that one. Or should I place this one more over here? And have them funnel down into there. Because if I do something like this, this one here, we can get more boats coming off... Coming off it, basically. We can have, like, multiple routes. Because this is what's going to, like, filter in all the... All the people in. So we'll have that there. There, we got to do this little route now, so... If I bring it down here and connect it into each one. There we go. So that's all connected up. We just now need to basically create a highway connection. So this is going to be <laughs> kind of interesting. So we'll do my world famous, my world famous roundabouts because everybody loves them. And don't even act like you don't love them because you do love them. And I'm not sure if they can actually get in just solely off this, so we'll see. Right, highways. Okay, where are we going up to? So I'm just bring that there right now. Don't worry about if it's not correctly where I want it to be, because we'll create this. So bring this down to here. Because we'll create a nice curvature to keep the traffic flow going. Right. So, delay, 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 delay. Here your boy goes with some traffic flows. Look at that. It was made to happen. Right, let's get a snapping grid off. Get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid. And let's sort this out then. So, this is ultimately going to be the biggest shambles ever. Just because of how the road is simply going to be connected. So, <laughs> let's be going. Should we just like do a big six lane off it? No, it's not really going to work like that, unfortunately. We'll do our little one way system coming off it. And that's ultimately how it's going to work. There's nothing fancy, nothing crazy about it. That is how the peeps are going to get to the ferries. So, we need to give them power. And this is probably what's going to be another issue for us. We just never know. Okay, so that's down. That's sorted. No issues. No tissues. No worries. We need oh we need water first. So Okay, I can't quite hook up how how I originally planned it to. There we go. Oh, and they're gonna need power too. And then we can do a sewage one. We'll do eco switch because you know we're constantly thinking about the environment here. <laughs> yeah, right, Seniac. You're right. <laughs> okay, right. That's all set up. That's all set up. So now we've just got to sort out all the road systems, and this could take a while. So I'm going to pull it into play mode just for now, just so the water can filter in. So by the time I've got all this set up, the majority of the water should be set up too. So let's look at how we're going to do one island anyway. I want a snapping grid on. How much is a... Oh, hold on. 
There we go. How much away is it in there? Four, five, six. It's like six away, isn't it? So if I did... No, if I did it... No, nah, that's, that's way too much up there. Hold on. It's, gonna, it's literally going to be different on each one. So if we go up to that, no. Nah. Again, too far up. Okay, that's kind of what you want it to be like. To a point where you've only got one in. Well, that connects there, but too far over on both of those. See, this is what's going to be a big pain for me right now, trying to get all this in. Oh, there we go. And that's kind of how I want it on each island. So we'll kind of filter it like this way. There we go. There we go. So it's going to be very... <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to try and get all this set up. Right, this is the pain of now got. I've got to do this to every freaking island. So... This is going to be right. Fun. So we've now got all the roads in, and I'm um, I'm not going to pretend like each one of them's perfect. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but it is what it is. Uh, we've got them all in, and we'll do each one as we kind of go along, adding additional roads and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, do I place down the boat routes first? Hmm. Hmm. Because this is going to be quite expensive. I mean, I don't need to place them down just yet. I think we'll keep it paused for a second, and then we'll zone each kind of island in a, in a way. So we'll do a bunch of residential ones, islands first, and they can be, all be on the outskirts, which is good for us. So I might as well just get all the roads dropping down now, shouldn't I? Right there and there. So we'll do we'll do these here, all residential. So let me get the roads in now. Push that across, across. And we're going to have to get an industry one in somewhere as well. We probably, I think I'll put these up here so we can create some power. Because another issue we're going to have is the garbage. That's going to be a huge issue. That's something I've only now just thought of being a problem. We're going to have no garbage disposal. Oh yeah, I just, I just realized. Why, am I, why have I done low density here? So... We're going to have huge garbage issues. Because basically what I'm doing is creating tiny mini islands. Expecting all of them to have the same functionality. Oh, what I could actually do. I just realized something. What I could do. Now, I don't know if it will work. I could create bridges over. But use the two-way highway bridge um, road. That way they can't physically walk across it. But then will that cause traffic problems? I don't know. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say is when we get to that hurdle, then, then we'll deal with it. I can tell you right now it's going to be a huge issue. Right. These are going to be industry over here. Now, do I want to put into play mode to start getting people moving in or trying to attempt to get them to move in? Because we're not going to have power. Because the power plant that I want to use is the like the incinerator. So we need garbage for it. But nobody can get in just yet. So, yeah. I mean, stuff is now building. And we probably will start to get a little bit of tax money from it. But ultimately, not everything that we want. Okay, I've only just realized the issues we're going to be facing. And it's kind of hilarious, isn't it? It is. So I'll be making... I kind of click on the balance. Alright, you got to click here. I, I, I forget what I'm doing half the time. We're generating a bit of money from industry, so money is going to come in. But it's not going to happen how we want it to. <laughs> this is going to be amazing! Right, let's ultimately see them. What would happen with... If it's, or if it's possible anyway, with these two lane roads. So, two-way highway road. Space is already occupied with that. See, because that's the issue we're going to have. I mean, I can, I can do it like that. But that is U-G-L-Y and nobody ain't got no alibi for this. That's how I could do it. 
bullet shocking, isn't it? It is shocking. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to think our way around this. We are gonna have to think our way around this. Right, let me try and figure out some ideas. Right, we've done some, some modifications right now and a few little tweaks here and there. Uh, and, and ultimately, what we've now done is we've created these little two-way highways. So nobody, nobody can go across them except, wait for it, we can do restrictions. Where is it? Where's the road restrictions? Clear traffic, vehicle restrictions. If I click this. We could say stuff like no vehicles, no buses, um, no, mm, uh, I don't know if to allow cargo, no vehicles or buses on each of these. So all we've got to really do is to this one, because that kind of filters them in. Well, then again, on this one as well, because they'll, they'll drive to and from it. They'll get smart, guys. They'll try and get smart with your boy. Might as well just do it on each bridge. So no vehicles, no buses. Um, I should really pause this just in case. No, because no one's no one's able to get in yet. We haven't even done the boats or well, the ferry system. All right? Do we have any other bridges? Did I do this one? Yeah, I did that one. We have one here. So we're just going to disable vehicles on this, and I'm hoping. Oh no, it's the wrong type. And hoping. Did I do the right one on that one? Yeah, just hoping that they do listen to these road restrictions. I've used them before, and some sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's it's weird. Right, here we go. Last one. Last one of the current bridges that I have in. We, we'll add the rest in when we get the other ones in. So, I've got the garbage plant over here. All in. We just don't have any citizens yet to produce the garbage, because obviously once we produce the garbage, that's how we produce the power. So, ferry system... Let's get our first one set up then. So from here, our first one will make a couple of stops. It can do, basically it would do the left side going down and then do this and then bring it back up and then go home. This one will do the opposite side. And then obviously we're going to have ferries going in between. And then back up. And now obviously we want ones in between as well. So we'll get one that does create a new line here. It does a loop like this. So it creates those, well, some of these little ferry ports as hubs to transport around. And then we'll see how that goes. Let's do free for now. That is also going to cost us a lot of money in the long run. And will that then start to trigger people to, to move in? Or to get here? Because I think we also need to hook up the train network. I could be wrong. We have to take a fat loan very, very soon. Um, oh, we need the power as well, because the power's not stretching over. Well, it won't do anyway. So we'll have to do some magic for that. Well, we'll get, get some more industry in anyway. And we'll see if they're, they're going to connect. Doubt it, but we'll see. We'll see. Right, okay, so we've got a few vehicles moving. That is that a garbage truck. Yeah, that is one of the vehicles that we've allowed to go across bridges. <clears throat> so we're not getting anybody moving, and I thought this would happen. So a, a simple way to solve it is we'll take out another loan, just so we can buy some land that has the train network on, which this one, they're both the same price, aren't they? We'll go with this one because it's kind of a bit closer. And uh, trains. Yeah, we're going to take out the big boy loan. And then that is it. We can't take any more money apart from that 50,000 bailout that they'll give us. So train network. We'll drop it here. It's already a shambles, this, ex this experiment right now. Yeah, 
It's already a shambles. <laughs> I suppose it's all part of the fun, right? Right, that should now start to bring people in. Oh, as long as it's got power and it's connected up. Okay, we should now start to see people arrive. Very soon. And if they don't, well, we've done experiments, experiments before where this happens and this works. We just always need something to trigger it. And that something is giving these guys power. Now, they don't have power yet. So that is an issue that we're going to be facing. So we do have these small little solar parking cells. Which, if I drop one there, it gives some power. Which hopefully then triggers them to start moving in. At some point. I always forget... There we go. There we go. I always forget what the trigger is to make them start moving in. But they're moving in now. Or they're on the way at least now. You have to kind of give power to uh, the residential. So we'll leave that with a little bit of power for now then. See how things fly. We've got all these little boats right now ready to start, you know, doing their thing. And while we have a little bit of money, uh, we're going to set up the park in the middle because that, that's kind of also generate us a ton of money too in the long run. So the city park will place the entrance right opposite there, the uh, where they get on and off the ferry. It's called Grove Meadows. Right, we'll push it quite wide. There we go, boys. <laughs> we do a little side gate over here. One there. One there. And all we're doing is treating it as a little money maker for us. Alright, I mean, obviously we need to add something to it to make it worthwhile for these people traveling all the way out here. So we just drop stuff down like this. So one of those there, 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 there. We ain't too bothered while it does. Just to give him give it an entertainment value, basically. There we go. So at least that's in. Again, it doesn't have the electricity, but the electricity will come when the peeps have moved in. And we are still waiting for either a train to arrive, something like that, whatever it may be, just so we can start turning a profit. Because that's ultimately what we're trying to do, is a turn a profit. Right, is there a train coming? I can't see any of them coming any direction. Hello, trains! <laughs> Oh, there we go. There's one. Okay, we've got one now on the way in. Oh, people... Are, okay, cars are now approaching as well. People are going to come on and off here. We might start generating a little bit of money from the ferry system, but it won't be a lot. Honestly, it won't be a lot. But once I start getting the, the folks... How much do these boats take? 50 at a time. Right, is that train arrived? Yeah, the train's arrived, which is bringing like thousands of people now. <laughs> okay, it's it's all happening. They're all going to get here. Soon. Soon. We haven't produced any garbage, because obviously that's ultimately we need the people to move in. Um, and because we're going to be hemorrhaging money very, very quickly right now, we'll up the... Oh, we need to do that one. But we'll up the... kind. Of, we'll just do all of it for now. Up it all to 12%, the comfortable amount that you can charge that they don't really moan too much with. And then we see how that, how that rolls. We're down to losing 6,000 a week now, so 5,000 a week we're now losing, so we're getting somewhere. Oh, we're actually making money. The money's actually going up in the right direction. Okay, so we could turn this around still. We could still turn this around and this is going to be amazing. We just gotta wait. There we go. We're making profit. We just gotta wait for everybody to slightly move in. Garbage is now being produced, so power is being produced as well. How far does the the network spread? Okay, it doesn't go all the way over, but we can do, you know, electricity lines and stuff like that to kind of push it over. But it's going in the right direction. That is all I can say right now. 
It's going in the right direction. Okay, let's get rid of this. Place a little bit more of that down. So, power lines is what we need. Just simple, simple things like that. Drags the power over. Wonderful. Wonderful. And we need to get it over all these sides too. So this side is not going to connect. It will at this point. That's already connecting there. So we just need to create the connection here. And that's easy enough to do with stuff like a little bit of commercial around here. It's what's going to boost this area for the uh, park. And they're going to need power pushing over too. And that should get us all up and running. And then everywhere should have power. As long as you're producing enough garbage. Of course. But with that now connected. Again, we're not, we're not producing enough garbage. That's the issue we have at the moment. But we just need to wait for everybody to actually physically get in here. What's the, uh, the duck over here like? Oh, everyone's actually been transported over. Nice. But now we're getting the next wave. Because now the rest of it has connected power. The population is going to get a huge boost again. So we'll just give it a little bit of waiting time right now. Get everything up and running. Everything in. I'll build some more roads. Get all these areas set up. And then we are going to be rocking and a rolling. It's going to be so good. Right. Just want to double check as well. Yeah. It's just transport vehicles. Good vehicles. Nothing. No actual residential cars. No. Okay. It works perfectly well. This is amazing. They can only transport themselves via the ferries they can't drive on those bridges because we have disallowed the traffic but yet we still have all the garbage needs as well this is super cool so we've got all the other areas now set up we've got the bridges on there they've uh all got what's going on with these boats is it because those don't have power i think it's because those don't have power uh, but we're going to all set up anyway they've all got bridges um there's no way that they can cross over apart from Obviously, the trucks delivering goods, the garbage trucks. So citizens cannot cross these bridges. The only way they can get to each island is via a ferry, which is working perfect. So Grove Meadows is not making any money yet, unfortunately. Not making any cash money moolah just yet. But we need to get everything all set up and added in. So we've got all the garbage trucks in. Well, a majority of them. We're using 23 at the moment. We kind of need to use a little bit more than that. But I'm thinking we need to handle first the fire department stuff, the policing stuff. So we get these towers in. So I think I'll get the tower in uh, on this, like, kind of like almost central to the whole city. There we go. So if that can handle the, the kind of needs there. Some people are now dying, so we need crematoriums. And we'll go for the, uh, how much are the advanced ones? Has a little bit of higher kind of uh, patient capacity. So do one there. Do one here. There's no zone in there either. I've just noticed that. So let's get some zone in there. Oh, wrong one. There we go. We'll uh, turn this into residential as well. Turn this into residential. Get lots more people now moving in. More residential, the better. For this like, fun experiment. So I wonder if we'll see, like, uh, once we got all the residents in, if we'll start to see the ferries turn a profit. Because they're not making a profit yet. All right, we'll get these ones in as well. Right, I'm trying to spam it all over. There we go. Got two little spots left there. We can add in some more commercial or industry, wherever the needs may be. But that is all in. Okay, so we don't have the power in this area yet. So that, oh, we just wait for it to fully build up because that could be the only. No, no, I might say the only issue, but no, this one does need the power. There we go. These guys are gonna need the power too. And then they'll be connected. Same in this situation. Good stuff. Okay. So we're still screaming for garbage. Even though we've got 25 trucks, it's just not enough. So is there a way I can enhance this? Open the budget panel. 
Where's... Is this garbage? Oh, the garbage one's here. Right, we're going to put this to like... 150%. And will it use more trucks? Because you've upped its budget. Nah. What if I just then just place down another one on this island? Will that also use a ton of trucks? They're coming out the other side right now. So if there's additional trucks coming out of there, it can handle the garbage needs vastly over the whole city. We shall see. We shall see. So we're getting so much more residents now moving in. And uh, so the boats, because we've got so many boats going through it, they kind of pick them up fairly easy. Oh, these guys need some, like, situation sorted. <laughs> right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Garbage. We'll do, like, a small little recycling plant. So they can get stuff. Okay. Oh, look at all these residents now about to move in. So many of them. And let's see how quick... Like, there's another bunch more coming in right now. See, now we kind of handle the garbage. All the people now come in. I wonder... One, how quick does it all fill up? And two, how much does it disperse with these boats? Because they take 50 at a time, but we seem to have quite a few boats coming in and out. So as one goes, another one, well, two go, two come in. Oh, there's actually quite a few. <laughs> it's like it was all locked and loaded. Look at, look at them coming from the road up there, all the ones walking. They're already locked and loaded. All they need to do is get rid of, handle the garbage needs for this, and it, it, it's it's sorted, mate. Damn. There's got to be a couple of fares in there, isn't there? It's going to take a while for these. Actually, it's going to take a while for these boats to get them all in. Look at the traffic too building up. Holy moly. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. But more money for us in the long run. More money for us. Okay, what seems to be your issue? Citizens are now sick. So you want to get like a big boy hospital in. And more in, you know, kind of entwined to go towards this life center hospital. Just simply because it's a taller building. I don't have much room in the whole city. In this canal system to place something like this. or well, the big ones in. So I just need 95,000, which we've now got. Right, we'll squeeze it just here. And hopefully that will handle all the needs. It's essentialized as best as I can. To sort it all out. Now these complain there's not enough kind of uh, buyers for the products. So we might have to think about some form of export eventually. Look at that. Thousands are still coming. These boats have got a lot of work to do. Let's see the budget anyway for this. So for the transport. Um... We're not making any profit whatsoever. <laughs> Look at the income. But as more and more get in to the city, then more and more can use the boats to travel around. Do we have, like, many waiting? Look how many are waiting over here. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to up the the, uh, the ships. Or the, the boats on the ferries or whatever. Um, where is it? Where is the boat one? Boat, boat, boat. This one. No, it's the train. Boat here. Right, so the first one has eight vehicles. So we'll up it to 12. We'll up this one to 12. Now the one that kind of goes around the little loop, it's got five on. We'll up it to 10. And see how that kind of changes things. Because the, the the ones that got 12, these ones, they're not just bringing people from here. They're also transporting people around the islands too. So we'll just see how it goes. Because even when everyone's fully transported in, they're still going to be used to, like, you know, get them a, you know, around and stuff. It's like another boat comes. Some peeps get on. Some peeps get off. It's forever going to be used. I feel like we're going to need more. More than... than Is it 10 I put that one to? Ferry line free. Yeah, I feel like we're going to need a lot more on this one. We'll up it to 16. There we go. And then we see how that flies. So many more boats are coming out. So many more boats, boys. So many more boats. 
Right, little little police station for these guys. We'll do a little fire depot. And then they should be all good, right? They should be all good. <clears throat> we managed to soar through the thousands. And a few more arrived. So we're kind of like plateauing out a little bit now, which is cool to see. Um, so what are these guys issues then? Not enough customers. I mean the customers will eventually get there They just got to be dropped off via a boat <laughs> That is literally how it goes down What's unemployment like? 34% Wow Yeah, a few coming on and off. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Okay, right. Well, it progress a little bit further. Get a little bit more money in the bank. So we can drop down a few more services and stuff like that. And hopefully, it can be fully functional. We'll see. I think at this point, as cool as the ferry system is, we need to fully expand upon it. So what we're going to do then is we can do it in line. So we'll create a route here to here and back. Here to here. Oh. To here and back. Boom. So we can kind of create these cross sections. So think of it as if you were walking down a block. And you could go like in different directions. Every time you come to like an intersection. It's kind of what we're doing with these boats. We just got to try and disperse and transport as many people as possible. Now profit wise. Don't really care if we make profit or not. Oh, we need to um, get that one over. No, we'll leave that one as it is. <laughs> oh, that's too bad, Zidiac. Too bad. We're just trying to transport as many people as possible. That's all we kind of care about at the minute. And try and disperse them as, as much as possible. And um, do I do one running down now? I don't know. We'll kind of see how it goes for now. See how it goes. These little islands here. I feel like we should get... Um, should we get some offices in? We need to think about start educating people too. I feel like we've got enough residents in. We just need more stuff for them to work. And more jobs. So we'll look at education in just a moment. we got money to start placing some in. But yeah. Now with the... Because uh, I'm looking at stuff like this. Look how many people are waiting here. Damn. We just need more boats. More boats to sort it all out, mate. Come out of people waiting over here, too. We need boats for days. Look at, look at them all coming out right now, all these boats. So many boats. So many boats. So, yeah. It's going great. We just need to transport more peeps. We need to up the ferry system. So I'm thinking, why don't I just, just fully up it? Because now I'm not really too bothered about losing money with the ferry system. So why don't we just completely up it? So up you. You. More boats, the better, right? Right, guys? We're going to cause some huge traffic jams with boats right now. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to see. I'm, I, I can't really see what point I'm up to. But what's going to be hilarious is, right, is it's going to take forever for all the routes to get their boats out. Because they're coming out of one little depot. <laughs> Which is over here. So many boats are going to look. Oh my goodness, look, look, at the, look at the boat jam. We literally have a boat jam right now. That is mental. We cause a traffic jam with boats. It's probably the first city I've built where I don't have physical traffic jams. I have boat jams. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have boat jams. What is real life? Now, are these waiting for those boats to move? thinking about if I did something like this and then deleted 
that gap. So we have the boats freely moving. I mean, some of them are going to turn in anyway. It's inevitable. I suppose it's not as bad. We got so. Look at all these boats now just going around. Boats for days! Boats for days. I mean, it's up in how much we're earning off the boats, but we're still losing money. We're still lo losing money. They should only be used as, like, little ferry crossings, not as a main transport system. There is so many people waiting over here, too. It's like they'll never, ever, ever get transported to where they want to go. It will take for days, guys. For days, it will take. But I suppose more and more boats are coming in as we wait. We need to sort this, because this has gone terrible now. Right, I got an idea. Right, delete that, and if they want to go down there, they can go all the way down. It's easy enough, right? Yeah, look, it's now it's starting to move a little bit better. A lot of them are making that turn. And I suppose at this point they will stop. But once you start getting the boats coming through, and well, these the, the, the two lines there, once all them boats are fully out, all the other ones will flow nicely. It will flow just nicely, Sonny Ack. And a big cargo ship comes and destroys everything. <laughs> Look out. at how many freaking boats there are right now. There is just so many boats chugging along all these canals. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Uh, Grove Meadows over here is actually turning a profit too, which is really good to see. Um, I've also added in some schools too. We've got some education platforms now up and running. Elementary, high school, and a university. All well over their demands right now, so the capacity is good. 23% educated, so that's going to continue to chug along, which is very, very good to see. Very, very impressed. Very, very happy with it right now. Uh, the issues that we do have is um, not enough educated workers, but that will come over time. It's exporting goods. But first, public transport, 2200 a week on the ferry system. Just shows you that you can have bridges in and you can control who goes across them. And as long as nobody, you know, is using vehicles to go across, we've cancelled that out. They all have to use ferries. And there is just so many freaking ferries going along right now. It is crazy. It is crazy. Damn, boy. Uh, anyway, should we get like an export kind of thing set up? I feel like we should. Uh, we'll go for a ship one. So we'll go for a big cargo hub over here. So just drop that in. There we go. Uh, we'll do one-way roads. I ain't fussed about how it looks. It's just for functionality. That's in. It. It's got water. Needs a little bit of power. There we go. And to get it connected, we'll use the same method that we've got going down every, all this right now. And we'll kind of bring them off this one. And then just run it down to the island. Right? Like that. It's a two-way island. They can now import and export. Oh, we just have to make sure. We just have to make sure, guys. That nobody is using it to drive into the city. Because <laughs> that's important. So, restrictions. None of you. Same over here. Oh, wrong one. None of you. Even though we've got no buses, we sent it all up. So, look at that. Police and garbage trucks can use it. Good, 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 good. So, we should now start to see, yeah, exports going out to vans, trucks, and stuff like that, and lorries. Uh, exporting their goods, getting in and out of the city, which should... These, these guys should now be able to sell their products and import, too. Which is creating a load of dingling upgrades for those guys. So, yeah. It was touch and go at the start, but this experiment actually works. 
We've created a small city of 30,000 people and they all transport themselves via the ferry system. There's a few little tweaks that you have to do because you can't have the game fully set up in a way that you want it to. So we have created those little bridges, but only service vehicles, garbage vehicles can get across. And the city is functional. It is literally functional. It's pretty damn dope, if you ask me. Look at all these trucks now. The amount of imports now coming into the city is unreal. Because these guys have been begging for imports for so long. And they all come at once. <laughs> it's crazy how they just literally all come in at once. And we've got the kind of import and export over here. So we can have some huge traffic jams over that for quite some time. But guys, I think we're going to end it over here anyway. I mean, we can continue to keep going. But it can only improve. So it works. When it comes to education, that's still increasing. We're now starting to get some well-educated people, so those offices will start complaining about not enough educated citizens or workers. That will also come along. Uh, we never turn a profit on the ferry system, but we gain 2,600 income off it, which is good. Very good. Uh, we're making 12,000 a week profit in general. How many people are you still using the public kind of uh, network? So 2,400 in total. We're still getting some use the train. So some are still coming in via train. Then they get onto a ferry, which is I still find that hilarious. It's pretty cool, isn't it? But ultimately, it works. Stuff is now going to start disappearing. These little warning bubbles and whatnot. Imports are coming into the city. You know, it's starting to slow down now. The traffic is only there. So this is all working. It's good. It works. It's such a cool, it's like a four-leaf clover pattern as well. It's weird. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. <laughs>